Hello YouTube, my name is Octopus Joey, and even though my channel isn't really well known, I like to think that the people who do know it, know it for some relatively obscure content, or content that people don't really talk about much. Eh, who am I kidding? My channel is known for Roblox and Spongebob. But I think my best content is of stuff that people don't really talk about that much, and I can give you a unique perspective without repeating what everyone else is saying. But a while back, someone requested that I review Action 52, which is one of the most hated and most reviewed games of all time. Am I just another Angry Video Game Nerd clone? Of course not, Angry Video Game Nerd is funny. Well, whatever, I, if I can't be semi-sort of original, I'll just do what everyone else is doing. Welcome to my tutorial, in quotation marks, of how to make a generic game review. The first step is to only review bad games and games you're nostalgic for. Welcome to my review of Rugrats in Paris on the Nintendo 64, and by review, I mean all the reasons that this game has sentimental value to me, and not you. This game really brings me back to my childhood, and because of that, I'm just gonna overlook all of its flaws and recommend that you spend money on this game that you probably will not enjoy. Alright, that checks off the nostalgic game, why do I have a clipboard? And now for the bad game, Action 52. The first thing to do when reviewing a game like Action 52 is to exaggerate as much as possible about how bad it is. This game is actually dangerous because it attracts bears, criminals, guns, and fire. If you own this game, your house will burn down and you will be putting guns in the hands of criminals. And bears. Glenn Beck, if you need a writer, I'm currently unemployed. These games rewire your brain. Okay, fine, I'll play the game. Basically, Action 52 is an unlicensed collection of 52 games, and all of them suck. Most of them are shooters and platforming games that use the B button to jump and the A button to attack, and they all feel incomplete in a lot of ways. I'm kind of skimming over these points for the sake of not being too repetitive, but make sure in your generic review to go over all these points in great detail, no matter how many people have done it already. Anyway, for the sake of this review, I'll be looking at some of the games that stand out to me. Now, Illuminator is a game where I can see some potential. The gimmick of the game is that the lights keep going out, and you have to shoot these guys to turn them back on briefly. The main problems are, one, the game has no goal other than play until you die, and two, you can't always tell when it's safe to climb up one of these ladders because there could be a guy at the top. There's an idea in there somewhere, but it just wasn't well executed. Now, did you guys notice anything about the way I reviewed that game? Was it that I gave a slightly different perspective than what's usually said? Was it that I tried to find the positives rather than constantly bashing the whole game? Of course not! The thing that stood out about that review was that it wasn't exciting enough. When you review a game like Action 52, you gotta be extremely over the top and react to everything. This game is terrible! I can't see where I'm going! I'm angry! Moving on... Fun fact, the moon is green, and if you go far enough, the moon is blue. Really though, Operation Full Moon is just a generic on-rail shooter. It's kind of boring. In fact, all the shooting games in this game are boring, especially the ones that let you prevent enemies from spawning by rapid firing. And even the ones that don't let you rapid fire are boring because they're usually too slow paced. Anyway, enough about space shooters, it's time to play something completely different. An underwater shooter! Sharks is really boring because it doesn't give you enough things to shoot. Sharks come by sometimes, but usually you're just kind of sitting there. However, being bored did help me notice some of the finer details, such as that this guy's legs look like an alligator opening and closing its mouth. And you can swim backwards if you do it right. Alright, now you may think I'm crazy for this, but there was a game that I actually enjoyed. French Baker. Now don't get me wrong, this game isn't good, but I still found it enjoyable. I find this game pretty charming because it has a consistent bakery theme. Plus, it always gives you something to do. Throw a roller, or whatever, at giant food. The music, while not amazing, helps set the tone of a really, really dumb situation that you need to get out of. However, this game still has one huge flaw. There's no indication as to when and where these things are gonna spawn, which leads to unfair deaths. In fact, it's possible for enemies to spawn right next to you and kill you as soon as the game starts. If you stay toward the middle of big platforms, you'll probably be fine, but all of your progress can be ended suddenly because of unfair enemy spawns. But even though it's not really good, it's definitely the most playable so far. Meong is... stupid. That's the best way to sum it up. You move from tile to tile, hoping that the next one doesn't blow you up. And there's no indication as to which ones will blow you up unless you sit around and wait. Also, there's no music whatsoever except for the beep that happens every time you change tiles, and the explosion that happens when you lose. 
Hello YouTube, my name is Octopus Joey, and welcome to my piano tutorial on how to play Miong on the piano. Here's another game that actually shows some potential, Streamers. Instead of jumping up onto a platform, you grapple, because no game has ever done that. Okay, maybe there isn't that much potential, but at least it's unique for this game. It's still terrible though, because every time the screen scrolls up, the enemies randomize their walk cycles, making them practically impossible to dodge at times. Also, money hurts you in this game. It makes people see you for what you have rather than who you are, thus making it practically impossible to find true friendship because people only want to be around you so that they have a slightly higher chance of gaining something out of you. All in a split second. So yeah, this game isn't very good. Ever wanted to be Steve Urkel in a cave avoiding diamond-shaped eyeballs with bandanas on their faces? Me neither. This game is almost entirely impossible. Whenever you kill an enemy, another one spawns somewhere else, usually up here somewhere. And since you can't shoot up, 9 times out of 10, you won't be able to make it past the ladder without getting killed. Eventually, I got lucky with where they decided to spawn and somehow completed the first level. Level 2 has a different problem because the enemies respawn way too fast and move too fast. See? I killed them and walked toward the ladder, and before I could climb up, they managed to respawn and kill me. In this game, you play as a giant baby going around attacking adults and what I can only assume are other kids. So basically, you're Leafy. You know, I completely forgot about the whole generic review tutorial thing, but your next lesson is to make references that have nothing to do with the video you're making. The sooner that reference will be outdated, the better. So how about the 2016 presidential election? Really though, this game is just kind of unsettling. Probably the giant baby and the tiny adults. Okay, so this game is dumb because your weapon is a lollipop, but also it doesn't really do anything. Also, when you die, you don't just fall down, you don't spin around in circles, you're absolutely obliterated into a pile of 8-bit garbage, all because you touched a piece of candy! In sombreros, you're a guy in a sombrero walking down the street trying not to get run over. The logical solution, obviously, rather than just walking on the sidewalk, is to shoot rubber bands at the cars to make them explode. Next game, Laser League. Hello YouTube, my name is Octopus Joey, and welcome to my piano tutorial on how to play Laser League on the piano. In City of Doom, you climb a building, but don't climb over a window or you get judged by this woman and the game's over. But shockingly, this game is kind of glitchy. Look at this. City of Doom isn't a good name for this game. It's not a city, it's just one building. A better name would be, how far away can you make this woman appear from her window? Hambo kind of reminds me of Donkey Kong, only worse. Like Donkey Kong, you climb ladders up a set of platforms while jumping over obstacles. Only difference is that in Donkey Kong, you can actually always jump over these obstacles and sometimes even destroy them. In this game, sometimes you can jump over them, sometimes you can't. Also, this game has the same problem as French Baker, with random enemy spawns without indication. So it's very easy to die in this game, which makes it especially stupid that you only start out with one life. Jigsaw is another bad platformer. Attacks commonly miss, you can't progress sometimes because of poor randomized enemy placement, and there's nothing really special about it. Also, the death animation is kind of creepy. Your head bends back, your face disappears, and you have a seizure. And now for the main event, Cheetah Man. Well, it's mostly functional, but still full of lazy and sometimes questionable design choices. For example, you can't go up here without dying, even though there's plenty of space. When you fall off, you explode instead of actually falling, and you can jump forever in some places. It's definitely bad in the sense that it's unpolished and kind of unfinished, but it's at least somewhat playable. I skipped most of the games because there wasn't that much for me to say about them that hasn't been said before. But isn't this supposed to be a generic game review? Yeah, but that's not the kind of video I want to make. If you want to make videos just to be like someone else, fine, go ahead. But I want to make my videos as unique as possible. Not to say that making a video in a similar style to someone else is bad, but you really should make your videos your own. In fact, I might have a way to make this video a little more unique. I'm going to talk about the positive aspects of Action 52. Not all the music is good, but two tracks that stand out to me as particularly good are French Baker and Cheetah Man. The animations in Billy Bob are pretty good. French Baker, while not great, is pretty fun and definitely the best game out of the whole bunch. 
Action 52 is terrible, but it still has sort of a so bad it's good kind of charm to it, and I would even say that I enjoyed it. Which leads me to my next step in creating a generic game review, force all your unpopular opinions onto everyone. Really though, this isn't the kind of game that I really enjoy talking about. So next time, I will be reviewing something quite a bit more obscure. My name is Octopus Joey. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and click either of the videos on screen for more. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash octojoey and follow me on social media at twitter.com slash octojoey and facebook.com slash octopusjoey.